So the NCC guidelines are very comprehensive. Um, they um, are designed uh, for specific disease uh, processes, and there is a guideline for uh, CNS malignancies, central nervous system malignancies. Um, and each tumor is discussed separately. Um, for glioblastoma specifically, um, uh, the, the new changes include uh, the new WHO uh, classification of tumors um, with emphasis of, uh, on obtaining uh, molecular testing in patients who are being diagnosed with glioblastoma. Um, again, they emphasize uh, a resection uh, for patients who are good candidates. Uh, and we discussed this before, patients who have tumors in um, non-eloquent areas um, and who do not have other comorbidities that would preclude um, uh, surgical intervention. So that's definitely emphasized in, emphasized in the guidelines. Um, in terms of uh, adjuvant treatment, uh, uh, the major change um, in, uh, includes um, inclusion of the uh, tumor treating fields in treatment of um, glioblastoma in the newly diagnosed patients. Um, uh, this is based on uh, recently published uh, data indicating that addition of tumor treating fields uh, to uh, temozolomide and radiation in patients with newly diagnosed uh, glioblastoma uh, can result in survival benefit. Um, so I think this uh, probably was the major uh, change in the guidelines um, uh, this year uh, as opposed to prior editions uh, where uh, this was not present since we didn't have the data. Um, I think that the major change in um, uh, this year's edition of the NCC guidelines was the inclusion of the uh, tumor treating fields in combination with temozolomide and radiation uh, in newly diagnosed uh, patients with glioblastoma. Um, uh, we now have the data to support uh, the fact that addition of this modality um, extends survival. Um, it was not the case in prior editions of NCC guidelines because the data uh, did not exist then. Um, the study um, uh, was still ongoing, clinical trial was still ongoing at that time, uh, but has now been uh, completed and uh, the final uh, data will be available soon. Um, as a matter of fact, they will be presented at the Society of Neuro-Oncology meeting uh, in November of 2016. So the guidelines for recurrent disease, if we look at the NCCN guidelines, are a little bit more difficult than the guidelines for newly diagnosed disease. And that is unfortunately because we do not have a lot of treatments available. The two FDA approved treatments for recurrent disease are bevacizumab and uh, the use of Optune as single agent. However, we have to remember that we also have all the drugs that are used for the treatment of uh, glioblastoma in the past and have all the approvals, such as CCNU. So if it is to follow the guidelines that we have right now, we have either the choice of Avastin or the choice of Optune, a single therapeutic modality, or going back to the older alkylating drugs that we have used in the past.